Welcome back to our video series on BFD2 from Recording School Online. All right, we're focusing on customizing kits and really getting into detail on that, including layering, drums, um, using pieces from, every, from a number of different uh, kits to create our own unique sounding drum kit. Great. Now we're going to get into a, working with the mixer on the same kit that we've already created. Let's have a quick listen again. And in previous videos, we show you how to layer drums and then actually change the pitch and our acoustics and the dynamics of each one individually. Now we're going to go to the mixer and what I like to do is keep things simple because drums can get way out of hand quickly. You have the ability to have actually 16 separate tracks in BFD2. I'm going to keep it down to eight and not worry about having so many uh, extra tracks that I don't really need or might complicate the mix. So what you'll look at here in this particular kit is we'll have a number of channels on each drum at least in the kick drum and the snare. We've got the kick in, kick out, and that's the front and back. And then we have a sub kick, which is actually a processed lower end channel that we have separately. We can mix these any way we like. First thing we want to do is have separate channels. So let's make sure that the kick is going to go out stereo track two, go down to the bottom here and select that. We want to blend these, and we're going to go for, like I said, a very unique sounding kit. We want to have a little bit more of the kick in, which we're going to process. So go to that channel, select it, go up to the top here, right click, select new effect, and we're going to actually EQ it, put an equalizer in there, and then we're going to run that through a compressor. Let's hear that. Now, that's just on the kick in, and we EQ'd it to get a little bit more of the uh, beater. And we're compressing that, and I'm going to bring that out even further. And the end result is I want to blend that nicely with the sub kick to have a real nice top and real nice bottom end on it. Very nice. As you can see, we have a number of different ways of customizing our kit. Not just the particular samples, but many, many more features. And this is what makes BFD2 so powerful, is the fact that you can really have a tremendous amount of control over your kit and get it just sounding exactly the way you want. Go check out our next video.